I want to take a moment to name that for those of us on the front lines of experiencing white supremacy and racism, it can be really hard to name some of our personal experiences with unwellness, like mental health challenges, substance use challenges that we have, because we worry about validating the very biases, negative messages, or the um, stigma that white supremacy attaches to our identities. And it can lead us to self-silence. And and I absolutely understand this and I honor this and I get why it happens because I too can tell you, it took me years to talk about the trauma that I had in, I had living in my body and the shame that I had living in my body tied back to my experiences with bullying and the mental health challenges, spiritual challenges, the physical health challenges that related to the racist bullying I endured as a child or the cultural confusion I endured growing up and even all of the systemic and direct forms of oppression I experienced as a woman of color navigating homogeneous, a homogeneous corporate world. And it took me forever to overcome the fear of talking about the shame. And, and I worried that if I talked about these experiences that I had, that people would like me less and that it would validate these the messages around who my community is about and what I'm about and all of that. And what I recognize now is that actually in owning and naming my shame, it has helped to be so healing and I feel beautiful in being able to talk about it.